So the lost week of John Wilkes Booth, as historians call it, is a time period when Booth is camping out in the woods of Southern Maryland. There's a lot of Union soldiers in the area, so he and his accomplice David Harold end up getting stuck uh, in this very small little pine thicket. Dense Meadow is an area in the bluffs of the Potomac River, and in Dense Meadow there is a small inlet, and that's where the boat that Booth and his accomplice David Harold used to cross the Potomac River was hidden. The boat was supplied by Thomas Jones. Uh, he was a Confederate courier who lived in Southern Maryland, and he was, uh, for a price, ferrying people contraband weapons across the Potomac River into Virginia. Booth thought as long as he got to Virginia, he'd be safe, he'd be protected, everybody would herald him as a hero. Crossing the river goes very badly for Booth and Harold. There are patrol boats that are basically sailing up and down looking for Booth in case he tries to cross into Virginia. So not only are these two men in a tiny little rowboat on this vast, expansive river that has ever-changing currents. There are now patrol boats going up and down the water. Sometime during the night, they got turned around, and instead of rowing south to Virginia, they ended up rowing north, and they landed back in Maryland. He is absolutely devastated to be back in Southern Maryland. They're still in danger of being caught by the Union. John Wilkes Booth somehow makes it all the way down to Port Royal, Virginia. They find him on a farm called Locust Hill, belonged to Richard Garrett and his family. Uh, the Garretts thought that they were horse thieves, so they ended up locking Booth and Harold in the tobacco barn, and so when the Union soldiers showed up, uh, there was no way out. Mm -hmm. 